Hi, Steve Sander here. I'm at Song of the Morning. I'm over here by the lodge at, at the retreat side of Song of the Morning. And happy summer solstice. It's going to happen in about three hours, I think, two hours, 45 minutes, a little bit after midnight, Eastern time. So happy summer solstice, everybody. I'm going to tell a story about one of the gigs I played near here in Gaylord, Michigan, at a private club called Hidden Valley, or sometimes called the Otsego Club. And I just told this story the other day. Uh, I was playing there my first year that I played there. I played there about three and a half, four years. And it was a very exclusive private club. And it was also very busy at the time in the winter and summer. And I was playing with a trio and we played a lot of jazz and standards and it was a very good gig. I was young, maybe 22 years old at the time. And my trio took a break in this very nice looking uh, couple, actually two couples at a table, very well dressed, asked us to join them for a drink at their table. And we said, sure. So we sat down and we chatted with them. And um, one of the ladies all of a sudden said, do you guys know anything about witchcraft? And I was sort of like a little shocked that this remark would come <laughs> out of nowhere. And I said, well, no, not really. And they started talking about it a little bit. Um, their two teenage daughters, I think uh, each of the couples had a daughter, came into the room at some point and they were dressed in black with the dark eye makeup and sort of the goth look. And they did have the look of, uh, the, they had some sort of a, um, a, a, a witch's, witchcraft look, if you will. <laughs> so the lady said, well, I'm going to try to put a spell on you. And we were just ready to go back and play. And she said this little incantation or poem. Um, so um, I didn't think too much of it. I was a little spooked, maybe. But the first song we played on the bandstand after the break, right in the middle of the song, my hands sort of froze on the keyboard. And I had a, a major fluff right in the middle of the song. And I, I felt this sort of energy go up my spine. <laughs> and I, I said, oh, that was, wasn't very good. Sorry about that mistake. And after the song was over, the bass player said, Steve, you made that uh, error fluff when uh, we were going from an E flat chord to a D flat chord. And when she said that poem um, at the end of our break, she said, when three flats goes to five flats, yada, yada, da, da, da. And that's the key signatures for E flat and D flat. I go, oh, well, that's kind of weird. So then I was a little bit more spooked than I had been. So I avoided that table during the break and I went out into the, to the lobby area. And as I was coming back in to play our next set, I was going through a narrow uh, passageway and I couldn't avoid the lady who had set the incantation. And um, I didn't look at her, but I sort of walked normally past her and as my, our shoulders passed, she made this sound that was like pssst, and I felt like a thud in my chest. <laughs> um, and I thought, wow, this is really spooky. Well, uh, on top of that, the um, uh, we had a little problem that uh, my my drummer had gone out with one of one of the girls, one of the daughters, and the couple did not like that at all. She, they thought that was extremely inappropriate, and they made a big stink about it the next day and tried to get us fired from the gig. And somehow my the agent stepped in and, and we were able to save the gig. But um, it was just a spooky sequence of events. And um, call it the Witches of Hidden Valley. So that's a little story from old days of playing and my, the beginning of my gigs. It was a great gig, lasted for three and a half to four years. I didn't really know how good I had it. And I was in the north country of northern Michigan, uh, not, not too far from here, about 18 miles from where I ha am here at the yoga retreat. And I also, I was a regular, uh, regularly attending the yoga retreat while I was playing there. So anyway, happy summer solstice. Um, this is the longest day of the year. It's, it's um, almost getting close to 930 and it's still fairly light here. So thanks for listening and thanks for watching my uh, YouTube channel. I also put the videos on Facebook. So anything you do to like my Facebook page or to um, put a thumbs up on the YouTube uh, video will be helpful. So thanks again, and I hope to see you soon.